It is very well known as a Muskegon landmark. And yet the folks who manage the historic ship docked just off downtown worry if nothing is done, the USS LST-393 will have to leave Muskegon Lake for a new home. The obvious eventuality is uh, it sinks. I mean, if we don't do something, uh, <laughs> keeping it repaired is very expensive. So this is a historic ship. It's almost 81 years old. Uh, historic ships around the world are sinking uh, very fast. Yeah, the aging World War II era landing craft is one of only a handful of U.S. ships uh, there on D-Day, still afloat today. In fact, three. Flood says the LST board has been trying for a while to hash out a deal with Muskegon to ground the ship. They want to bring it onto dry land and incorporate it into a public park at the end of 3rd Street. And they would do that with a help with about 2.8 million grant dollars held by the city, which is where Flood says the plan hit a fundamental snag during a recent meeting. They informed us that they were looking for other uh, areas to spend that money. In other words, they were going to reallocate that money away from the 3rd Street Wharf project, which included moving the LST, to other projects on the waterfront. And we then asked them what were those projects, what were those other opportunities, and they, they had no answer for that. Now, if the work does not happen for whatever reason, the worry is the historic ship would have to leave Muskegon for the first time in decades in search of a new home that could support it in the long term. The Muskegon city manager argues the deal was never complete. In a statement, he says, after numerous unsuccessful attempts at reaching an agreement, it was determined that the city should also explore alternative community projects and that the city is stands ready to partner for the preservation of the LST, provided it is available as an asset for public education and enjoyments.